How's it going guys? White Rabbit here. As you know, I just uploaded this video called Esoteric Cinematic Theory, and in the video I discussed Pleasantville. I did an analysis on Pleasantville and a case study on Pleasantville to kind of illustrate this point. Now, if you haven't already seen that video, go watch that video before you watch this one because I want to expound on something that I showed just briefly in that video. In the video, I showed a snapshot or a, uh, a short snippet of this scene right here. Now, I want to elaborate on this scene in particular because uh, I think it's noteworthy. Um, this scene, to most film critics, is as simple as the movie paying homage to the Shawshank Redemption, right? This is what most film theorists or film uh, critics or whatever would normally say, right? The film plays homage to the Shawshank Redemption in this scene. Clearly, he's reenacting the scene. Now, this is what's important. This, there's a lot more going on in this particular scene than just paying homage to that movie. It's also paying homage to what was represented in that scene in the Shawshank Redemption. That's what's important here, and that is where you get the ties back to the Luciferian ideology, and it is blatant as day if you kind of connect the dots here, okay? In the Shawshank Redemption, for those of you who aren't familiar, I'm not going to go through the whole uh, synopsis of the, of the movie, but um, this scene right here happens when he escapes from prison. Okay, this is like the, the great escape scene in the movie. It's a very iconic scene. Now, it's so iconic that it shows up on the movie posters, coincidentally with a lightning bolt. Hmm. And again, you can see the, the quote for the movie, I guess. Fear can hold you prisoner. Hope can set you free. Ah, there's that, that hope thing, you know, that thing I love floating around there. But anyway. You, you, you see that this is clearly a, an iconic scene of this man escaping from a prison. Okay, that is the illustration being made here. Take it back to this scene. Well, what happened just moments before this scene happened? Okay, right before they paid homage to that film. Well, let's back up a little bit. What do we have? We have the Garden of Eden scene where she offers him the fruit. We have the kissing scene, the making out scene, right? Then it starts to rain. And then we get the iconic scene. You see? Busting out of this occult vision of, of, of the Garden of Eden being a prison. That's the whole point. Remember, I was telling you that Luciferians, or at least a lot of them, believe that, that God was holding Adam and Eve prisoner in the Garden of Eden. And through the forbidden fruit, which is being, you know, depicted here, the movie is saying that he is being set free. That is how this whole film analysis works, guys. That, that When I look at the esoteric symbolism in these movies, that's the type of stuff I'm looking for. You have to connect the dots, but once you do, it is so obvious. So, anyway, I just I just had to make a video on that real quick. Um, if you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe. Make sure you check out that video, which you already should have done. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, God bless.